Hey guys, Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. We're talking about Jesus is the Christ. And what we're doing is we're looking at these prophecies that were written hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus was even born and speak details about him, about his birth, where he was going to be born. And now we've moved into the place of his ministry and his teaching and his miracles. And yesterday we looked at uh, the fact that he was sent to uh, heal blind eyes to restore uh, sight to the blind. But today I want to talk to you about, first of all, the teaching of parables. If you look at uh, Psalm, the, the 78th Psalm, uh, verse 2, it says, I will open my mouth in a parable. Now this is what proves that Jesus is a cowboy because he's always talking about a pair of bulls. That was supposed to be funny laugh. Okay. Uh, a parable is a story that um, uh, where Jesus is trying to to get across a spiritual concept, but he uses natural things to do that. For instance, he wants to talk to you about uh, sowing and reaping. He talks about taking um, uh, corn and sowing it, and, and then uh, some seed falls by the wayside. So, you know, there's all different stories that he uses, but he, if he's talking to farmers, he's going to use what the farmer knows and try to bring this spiritual concept into it so they can understand. That's what a parable is. Okay, so if you look at Matthew chapter 13, verse 34 and 35, it says, all these things Jesus spoke to the multitude in parables, and without a parable he did not speak to them that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. In other words, in Matthew, this, this, he did this in order to fulfill that, that um, prophecy that was spoken. You see, all the prophecies were fulfilled in Jesus Christ, which proves he is the Christ, the Messiah, the coming one. Amen. Amen. Uh, and this was his ministry style, and it made him able to teach truth uh, with many layers of meaning that could reach many different kind of people. Then, here's another part to the prophecies. He was told that he was to proclaim the good news. We've read this before. We've read it in... Again, Isaiah chapter 61 where it says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to what? To preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, watch this, and to proclaim liberty to the captives. See, Jesus was sent to uh, proclaim the good news, the gospel. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3 and 4 says, A voice is calling. Clear the way for the Lord in the wilderness. Make smooth in the desert a highway for our God. Let every valley be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low and let the rough ground become a plain and the rugged uh, terrain a broad valley. Now, this is speaking of John the Baptist. And John the Baptist came beforehand, before Jesus started his ministry to prepare the way for the Lord. Now, um, I was looking this up and it's, it says, um, the remnant of Israel could remove obstacles from the coming Messiah's path through repentance from their sins. John the Baptist reminded his listen, listeners of this necessity, as did Jesus. These verses reflect the custom of some eastern monarchs to send their heralds before them to clear away obstacles, make causeways straighten crooked roads and valleys and level hills. John had the task of getting people ready for the Messiah. Amen. So that's what it's, it's talking about there. Okay. Then also, if you look at Malachi chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. Once again, this is speaking of John the Baptist and the fact that he is coming to... Uh, uh, to proclaim Jesus Christ. Another detail, see, this is a detail from prophecy spoken years and years and years beforehand to prove that Jesus is the Christ. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.